Okay, welcome to the video. So today we're going to play around with uh, SREF codes and using style weights to determine how much of the SREF code shows up in the image. And so I have a prompt set up already, and I'm just going to hit go, okay, because I want this to be the uh, default. So you see what the what the uh, prompt actually does. So this is just, it's a, it's a Viking, right? And uh, so this is what this prompt does just with the generic words, okay? Now what I wanna do is I want to add in, just delete this. I wanna add in the SREF, okay? This is the SREF code right here, 46437392. And then I'm going to use uh, power permutations. And what this is gonna do is it going to give different um, strength uh, weights uh, to the prompt, okay, to, excuse me, to the style code, right? So first off, we're just gonna do a really low number like 10, okay? And then we're gonna do one for 30, and then let's do 100. And then let's do uh, 400, uh, let's do 600 and 1,000, okay? So um, uh, uh, style weights, you can go from zero to 1,000. And what this does is it, uh, the bigger the number, the more of the style code is going to show up in the image, right? So if you're confused, here's how I can show you what happens is just by launching this. Now, let me tell you, if you have a lower version of uh, MidJourney, uh, using the power permutations totally eats up your, um, totally eats up your uh, GPU time, okay? So let me just show you, okay? And here is our original, right? So this has no uh, style weights, right? So uh, this is just the original uh, return that, uh, Midjourney gave us, right? Pretty, pretty angry Viking, right? So here is the first one with the uh, S ref, and this has a, a, a weight of 10. Okay. So you can see it's a little different than these, not much, but it has a definite kind of look to it that we, we didn't get here. Okay. And then when we go to 30, you can see we're getting, see the color has changed. We're getting some more uh, detailed textures. We're getting some of these design elements in, right? And uh, this is a, a weight of 30, okay? Now, when we go to 100, uh, we're starting to get more cartoony. We're starting to see the colors. We're starting to get these rich details and, um, this is all because of the SREF, all right? This is the influence of the SREF, right? So we get this kind of zombie crazy look. Um, very interesting. Now we're at SREF 400. You can see that we're still using the same code, but we're giving a weight of 400 to the image. And you can see we're getting some really crazy cartoon stuff. Uh, we still have the the details we still have it looking cartoony but um it's really kind of a uh, kind of more elaborate now here is 600 and you can see that you get uh just just bizarre <laughs> bizarre looking stuff uh and this is all because of the weight of the style code that's being introduced now here's a thousand which is the max okay so this is the max level, and you can see that you really get some uh, really kind of bizarre and really interesting things. I think I like this one the best. But um, anyway, so that's the difference between these, right? So if we look at them in the aggregate, right? So this is zero, right? This is just the raw prompt. This is at 10. This is at 30. These are at 100. These are at 400, these are at 600, and these are at 1,000. So 
Anyway, that's the difference that if you're using an SREF code, try adding different levels of weight uh, to the uh, to the SREF to get a different level of uh, of fun. <laughs> so you never know what you're going to get, and I think that's really the appeal of um, a mid journey, right? So if you wanted something more realistic, cartoony, but still with using this style code, right? Uh, uh, 10, uh, excuse me, this is 30, might be something that would be appealing to you, right? But if you really start wanting to go more cartoony, this could work. Now, this is, these results are all based on this SREF. All right. So if there is another S ref that you might try, it's not going to make it cartoony. This is just what happens with this particular S ref. So uh, I encourage you to play around with this. You're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be really weird. Uh, and that's the whole point. You don't know what you're going to get. And you can really drive a lot of really interesting images this way. So play around with it and see what you like. So thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to learn more about how to use MidJourney better, especially if you're a professional creative, please subscribe to the MidJourney Experience newsletter. Uh, this comes out uh, weekly. It's sent right to your inbox, and it's got lots of fun tips and tricks just like this uh, so you can learn how to use MidJourney better in all the work that you do. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.